as I stand by the creek side today, I appreciate things that I wouldn't have appreciated a much that much a year ago. For a year ago, things were not as they are today. I was not the same person I am now. For the spirit has came within It has healed me in ways that I never thought were possible. For all the things that you think are broken, for in all the ways that you think that you are lost, all the ways that you think are right, and all the things that you think are wrong, may all be incorrect for our father will correct us when we err our father will heal us when we are sick our father will find us when we are lost our father will make us see when we are blind he will help us to hear when we think there is nothing to be heard. He will have us listen vehemently when we feel as we have heard all. For we have heard nothing if we have not heard it in the Spirit. For the Spirit of prophecy is Yeshua. The Holy Spirit is one of the three. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit will change you in ways that seems impossible. But they are not impossible. For nothing is impossible. If you do not deny the power therein, you know all things are possible. You know all things can be healed. You know that everyone and anyone who is seeking Him shall find Him. For He is here. He is there. He is everywhere. He is omnipotent. He is omnipresent. He is our Father. He is the one who brought His Son, the only begotten, so that we might find salvation. And His Spirit has been poured out upon mankind. For the time is at hand. We are in them days. We are in them days where if you bend your knee and you seek to have eyes to see, and ears to hear, the Spirit will speak. It'll speak in a way that you can understand. If you seek knowledge, now is the time that you will get knowledge. If you seek understanding, pray for it. You will receive it. Ask and you shall receive. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. Now is the time. For all the things that we are looking at right now will pass away. They are not forever. This body that I'm within, that is full of sin until it was washed clean, it will fall away from this earth. But I shall never fall away from my Father. You must ask yourself, will you fall to your knees or will you fall away? I will fall to my knees every single time. I will appreciate every breath I take. For they were given by our Creator. I will appreciate every step that I take on his creation called earth for he knows every hair on my head he knows every step that I take he knows every breath that I breathe he knows every thought that I have every fleeting thought he molded me from the clay of the earth and from the clay of the earth I am but through him, I will become as rich 
as topsoil. My seed will be plentiful. When I harvest, the plant, the trees that grow from my seed will be very, very sweet. For the Spirit has healed me. The Spirit has filled me. It has made me a new man. I am no longer that same old creature. The creature that I was that was full of sin, full of lies, full of railings, is no more. For I am now a new man made in the image of our Father. For He has made me new, and new I am. So I would ask once again, and I've asked this many times, fall to your knees, humble yourself before the Lord, accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and when you accept Him, He will come into you and you will go into Him. At that moment, you will truly be set free from your bonds. You'll have no more chains. You will be free, free, free. So, I'm going to allow the Spirit to lead me. I have an old New Testament Bible, one of the little ones. They've even got some pages that fell out of it. It's probably from the 60s. I haven't looked at the year yet. But I'm going to let the Spirit lead me, and I'm going to go to somewhere in this New Testament, and I'm going to read some scripture. For the Spirit will lead you if you allow it to, and it will speak to you if you allow it to. So open your ears, open your eyes, seek signs, seek confirmation. For now is the time all shall prophesy in His name. Here we go. I'm going to sit my phone right here, like this, and we'll see what we got. I'm not going to look at where we're going. We're in Hebrews. Okay. We are in Hebrews. But there's a wrong page in here. Oh, Lord. Woo! Psalms. Psalms 48. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain of His holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. On the sides of the north and the city of the great king, God is known in her palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled, they passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled, and they were troubled, and haste away. For took, fear took hold upon them there, and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts. In the city of our God, God will establish it forever, Salah. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Zion, rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well. Her bulwarks consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation, generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever, and he will be our God even unto death. He is our God, and that was not planned. He will guide us. If you seek out the Holy Spirit... He will show you through the Spirit. Our Father will show us what path to take. He will show us the path of the straight and narrow. And in this time, we must seek Him out. We must follow the Spirit. We must listen vehemently. We must see. We must pray to have eyes to see and ears to hear. We must humble ourselves. We must show loving kindness to our neighbor. We must love one another. 
Love thyself as you love thy neighbor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. He who hath loved another hath fulfilled the law. I intend to fulfill the law. I intend to pray, to fast, if at all possible. It's hard for me to fast. I ain't going to lie. But what I plan to do most of all is to bring people to him. To bring people to him because he has shown me things that would seem impossible to most. He has gave me gifts that most confirmation most would not understand. And we have given him very little in return. This is a ministry channel. I've changed the name to God's Real. I have a hook on my right finger. It's an injury. It's a size 12, which has meaning to me. When I was a younger man, I used to go fishing with my uncle. We fished for trout. We used a size 12 hook. And we fished. And we were plentiful in our reapings. For we reaped and reaped and reaped. We sowed very little. But what we did sow is goodwill toward one another. Love toward one another. We sowed the seeds of love. We sowed the seeds of goodwill. And even today, they have meaning in my heart. Our Father has guided my mind into remembrance. I remember many things now that I didn't think I'd ever remember. For I had a car wreck on 11 11 11. Traumatic brain injury. I broke my back. I broke my neck. I broke ribs. I had to have plastic surgery on my face, on the right side. They said I'd never work again. They said I'd never be the same. My memory wouldn't be, wouldn't be very good at all. I have worked since then. My memory is better than it's ever been. Ever. Praise the Lord. Ever. My body, howbeit it's not strong as it was when I was a young man, it's much stronger than it should be. My will is boundless. For my Father has filled me with the will of God. And I will push and push and push until this channel is either gone because they don't want to hear about God, especially people that are really seeking Him, or they just, or they just are afraid of us because there's a new guy coming in. A new guy that will claim to be God but he will not be God. He has not created things like what we are looking at right here. He has not created children as beautiful as they all are. He has not created any. He will be a lie, and a lie he shall be. For the three has prophesied long ago that an Antichrist will rise. And he will rule for a time, a time, and the dividing of time. He will have all power, signs, and lying wonders. He will start out as a charismatic leader. He will end as a tyrant, a murderer, a liar. He'll be everything that the devil is because he is the devil incarnate. He's the devil made flesh. But do not worry. For our Father is sending His Son back. He will come back exacting judgment. He will subdue the false prophet. He will subdue the Antichrist. Take them to the pit. And He will bring His children home. This is a time of sorrows. And I'm sorry to say that no matter what we do, nothing can change this. All we can do is pray. Seek Him out. Appreciate what we have while we have it. What we should have been doing all these years, but we did not. That's all we can do now. But to me, most of all, protect our children. Bring them up in the Word. Keep them away from wickedness.
teach them to pray. Read scripture to them. Tell them about Yeshua, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit. Explain to them what time it is. For I'm trying to get my house in order. Because a house divided will fall. Our house will be united under one and the one true God is who we shall be. Who we shall be under. For God will show us a way and our way will be God. I'll follow the Spirit. If the Spirit says leave, I'll leave. Depart is what it normally says. If I hear the word confirmation in my head, it's the Spirit speaking. Something always happens. Maybe a bird flies by. Maybe a dog comes up to me. Maybe a bug hits me in the side of the face. Maybe a leaf falls out of a tree. I won't give up on God. He ain't giving up on us. But many will. Many will forget who he even is. They'll seek another. And this other that they seek will be a deceiver. He will mark them and he will destroy them forevermore. There'll be nothing left. There'll be very few of us. Very few. Very few there shall be. For few are chosen. And the chosen few shall be first. For the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. If you seek true wealth, pray. Forget about money. Money is a means to an end. It's a means to death. For money is the root of all evil. And it really is. It really is. Money can make a good man completely evil. Make him do things he'd never ever do. It can take the best things and turn them into something that you don't even want to hear about more or less be a part of especially if you're a saved man and a Christian yeah I said it I'm a Christian people uh, are scared of that word now the AI picks up on it huh yeah the AI does pick up on it last time I said the word Christian the video had never seen the light of day but it had a little more had a little more content in it than that we'll say I'm going to ask the people to pray for me Pray for me. I haven't been well. I'm sick. My temple is not well. I'm talking of my flesh. Pray for me. But my spirit is strong. And I'm not giving up. But I'm going to call on my brothers to pray for me. And if this does not work, I will ask a few to anoint me in oil and pray over me. And pray to God that I can be healed. I won't go to a doctor for a healing. Not a good idea what's wrong with me. But anyways. Seek him out. For he's he's got his hand out right now. He's knocking at your door right now. Let him in. Let him in. Let him in and be joyous about it. Be merry. For the time is at hand. The separation is nigh. And there's nothing much we can do but pray and trust one another. Confess our sin to one another. I'm asking my brothers and sisters to be a part of this tabernacle. I'm asking them to be disciples with me. I'm asking them to preach the good word to anybody that will listen. I'm asking them to love one another. I'm also asking them to judge not for ye shall be judged upon your own judgments for a brother who judges another brother is no brother at all so it says the scripture and I seek to be a brother I seek to show love and I seek to see him in the cloud when he triumphantly returns for we do win in the end. It may seem like we're 